What's up, John? Jerry O'Connell, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. Thank you, man. All right, we're talking about season two of Carter. Before we get into that, I need to get a quick update because last time we talked to you, you said, I can't remember if this was one year ago or two years ago, that Kirk Cousins, you were going to try to make him your quarterback in your fantasy team. If so, did you do that, and how did it work out? I got to tell you, I'm still a little in shock that the Vikings lost that game last weekend. Uh, it was... Uh, yeah. I have to tell you, I'm weirdly, I'm weirdly a Vikings fan, mostly because my very good friend in Hollywood, Josh Duhamel, yes, big is, fan, um, big Vikings fan, uh, is uh, he's a huge Vikings fan. I, you know, I sort of, I, I've, I've become a Vikings fan just sort of through him, and that was a little devastating last week. I thought, I thought there was a good chance that they were going to win that game. So you like to punish yourself, is what you're saying. Listen, the Vikings have uh, had some postseason success compared to other franchises out there. I mean, the Vikings are always giving you action in the postseason. I think, you know, I think Vikings fans should be proud. I mean, obviously, it's not the ultimate goal, but uh, you have you have postseason success. We've been to the postseason many times, but 1998, miss a field goal to go to the Super Bowl. 2009, right. Brett Favre. The, the best season ever, throws the interception to the Saints. We don't get into the Super Bowl. Then the, the right. Minneapolis Miracle, which was right before the last time I talked to you, looks like another right. perfect season, and then we get blown out by the Eagles. And then this year, we beat the Saints in dramatic fashion and then blow it again. Right. So that's the history of a Minnesota Vikings fan. But I'm definitely happy to have you aboard. And one of these days, we're going <laughs> to overcome. We're going to overcome this together. <laughs> Listen, we it's spring is coming up. Let's let, let's start to concentrate on the Twins and <laughs> and what they can do, okay? That's right. That's right. We made the playoffs last year. Things are looking great there. But all right. So, we should probably talk a little business here because Carter t season 2 is coming out and I saw the the first episode. And one thing I got to say about the show is the the writing and the and the acting that goes along with it, with it is hilarious. Tell me about that. Um Carter's hilarious, you know? I mean, I play a, a guy who's an actor who plays a cop on TV. Imagine David Caruso in CSI Miami. And he moves to this small town, and he thinks because he's David Caruso-esque, um, he could tell the cops how they should solve crimes. This is how we do it on television. <laughs> and this is how it's going to be in real life. I think and my... it's just hilarious. It's, it's just ho hilarious to play. I mean... I, you know, because I played a cop on TV and because I'm a cheesy actor, I had to do no research <laughs> for this role. I just mm -hmm. rolled into work. I think the best part of the first episode is probably the method acting that you go into to become the, the, victim's, the victim's wife. <laughs> so Colin Mockery of Whose Line Is It Anyway, hilarious improv actor, amazing all-around person, um, comes to my character Carter and says that his wife is missing. And so because I'm an actor who's now a detective, I have to get into character and I become his wife. So I become Colin Mockery's spouse for an entire episode. And that requires me to sleep with him, to dress in his wife's clothes, <laughs> to become his wife. I'm like the Christian Bale of detectives. I become that character. What's that and like on set? Are you guys so like fun. dying? Listen, you know who Colin Mockery is. You know, oh, yeah. I mean, you know, whose line is it anyway? I mean, just to be in scenes with him and, you know, he'll start to riff and then you have to try and catch up. It's like, it's just, it, it was, uh, it was, it was really exciting. It would be like, it would be like, it would be like playing, throwing around the football with, with Mr. Thielen. Boom! Mm -hmm. Vikings reference! <laughs> yes! Pow! Bringing it back. So when when you guys when you guys cut, are you just like are you are you guys just dying laughing? And then also, I know you're probably used to it at this point, but do you ever just think to yourself, uh, I'm really getting paid for this? I, I, I I'm I'm really good. What? I, like the fact that you guys, I mean, you're it looks like you like that would be so much fun, and you're getting paid for it. It doesn't oh, seem right, like a right, job. Right. It just seems like you guys are having a great time out there. Um. You know, it's we do have a good time on Carter shooting it. You know, I, I, it's 
It's crazy. I love Seinfeld. I've watched every episode of Seinfeld. And for me, one of the funniest things about Seinfeld is when you're about to see Jerry crack up. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, that is just the funniest, you know, and you could see like anytime Kramer comes out there, he's just about to laugh. Mm -hmm. And I think it makes you laugh a lot. And it's funny watching these episodes of Carter. I'm about to laugh in a couple of these scenes. And man, we have one. We have one episode coming up where my co-star, who plays the real cop on our show, played by Sydney Tamai Poitier, who is Sydney Poitier's daughter. She's beautiful. She's a great actress. She has to go undercover as a cop. And I train her because I'm an actor who's now a detective. And I'm like, listen, I'm going to teach you how to go undercover. You have to become the character because when you are talking, you have to believe yourself because if you believe yourself, then they'll believe you. And like I keep talking about like going deep undercover and don't go too deep or else we'll, we won't get you back. <laughs> and we did a scene where I'm in her face and I'm grabbing her head and we could not stop laughing doing it. It's just so funny, you know, like making mm -hmm. fun of those movies about going deep undercover and going in too deep. And it's, we just have a really good time. That's amazing. You guys definitely look like you have a great time. The show is great. One quick question while, while you, you made the, re the Seinfeld reference. What's better, Seinfeld or Cur Curb Your Enthusiasm? Um, uh, listen, they're two different shows. You can't compare them. One has sort of like a verite sort of reality show type thing going on. They're two totally different shows. One is a straight up sitcom. I love them both. Come on. I don't want to, I don't want to start a beef with Larry <laughs> David here on this show, please. That's All the right. last thing I need is him. I, yeah. Is Larry David angrily tweeting at me because he will beat me. He's, he's, he's too good with words. Watch Carter, WGN America. Look how amazing my hair is. Look at this. <laughs> I Beautiful. Love all right. Mane of hair. Well, I love talking to you. I know I got I to gotta let you go or I'm going to get beat up because you have a live hit coming up here. But Twin Cities. Good luck to your twins. Thank you. Check love out Prince. Carter. Yes. WG in America. Soul. Monday nights at 9 p.m. Central. Yes. And I love your Twitter Prince photo. Yes.